Hi everyone, this is Christine Josty of Mill Something Pretty, and today I wanted to show you how I made this fun autumn pattern card. Um, it uses the Tag Tailor Punch right here as a little background with the fun paper, and um, I'm going to show you that it lends itself very well to lots of pattern paper, so it's a really good way of using up your scraps. So the paper that I used, I just cut them in strips and we're going to cut them out in shapes. Um, it's, it's beautiful. Um, it's the Gilded Autumn Specialty Designer Paper. And it has, uh, I think every side, at least one side of the paper has this nice gold foil in it. And um, it's really beautiful. So that's where I got the paper from. So to start, I think we'll just, since I have it here, I'm going to punch out some shapes. So I need... Let's see, I need two of all of them except one. So let's see. Punch out two. And I'm just going to use one of this brown. Make sure I get it straight. And two of these stripes. This is really pretty on this side, but I liked having the stripes and bringing in some of the color. Sometimes it's hard to decide. Um, which side to use. All right, so that was two, four, six, seven pieces right here. And then um, I used just a regular size, um, eight and a half by 11 cardstock. I cut it on the long way and scored it in the middle at five and a half because sometimes when you have a landscape card and you have it open, I don't have one here the other way, it flops. You know, it just kind of flops a little bit. So I have lately been cutting for the horizontal or the landscape cards that way. So now they stand up nice and straight. Hopefully someone will want to display it. Okay. And then we are going to, I'm going to check my glue before I, sometimes if I don't use it for a while, it gets a little stuck and I meant to check it before I turn the video on. I'm just looking for something. Here we go. Sharp. Once in a while it gets a little dry. Oh, I gotta bring the second one up here. This one's getting low. Try it one more time, and if not, I'm gonna stop the camera and go get another glue. But I know this one's getting low. There we go. Okay. That's all. I'll just use my paper piercing. All right. So I actually have like a little guide or a little template here. And I will finish this card up later. But um, so it kind of shows me where I want to put my pieces. I seen, I, I saw a similar card on Pinterest using all different papers and different sentiments. But I liked her placement of these. So that's kind of what I'm going to use. So I like to start with this one kind of on the bottom. This is the one that has just one. And I am trying to use glue. I'm just using my glue. You may have noticed I've been using my glue a lot more lately. Um, it's easy. You use a whole lot less glue than you do with the seal. And um, you sometimes, if you know, you put it down and you say, oh, I need to move it a little bit. You have a little wiggle room time to move it. All right, so actually I can show you. This one overhung a little bit more than this one, which is fine. I, just, I didn't really measure it up. So we're gonna trim those anyways. So I'm just going to kind of build my way up. And I'm going to leave, you can leave as big or as little gap as you want. Um, actually, I'm going to move that over. So my point goes up through that seam right there. And as this is drying, I'm, gonna, I'm going to show you some more samples of different papers. But you can see it really didn't use all that much paper. So if you have little scraps around, it's a great way to use them. Two 
two pieces left. And this one, actually, I meant to push it over because this one, you I'm only going to put glue in a little bit on the side because you're barely going to see it. So I would shift that one over a little bit. Maybe so that looks like it's an inch and this is an inch and a half. So it's fine for the card, but if you want to see a little more of the pattern right there. All right, so I'm going to let that sit and dry for a second. So let me show you actually some of the other samples. So this is the one that we're making today. But here is... The same thing, exact same patterns. Um, I didn't change anything. There's just one on the bottom and it's all the same, but just this is, I think it's called the Brightly Gleaming Paper. I'm pretty. And then I did the same one, just in a mossy meadow background. And this is the Pretty Peacock, but otherwise they're the same card. And then I did, this uses the Ornate Garden Paper. It's the same thing, same patterns, or not patterns, but the same placement. And then I just changed up you know, they each have the same little back here. This one I embossed and put some flowers on. And the last one I did, I like this one, is the Halloween. Um, I use pattern paper instead of solid paper, but same placement. And then um, I just, you know, I put the little doodads in different places on them all. But um, same card. So there's really, and I'm going to post pictures of those on my Facebook page. There are a lot of... Um, ways to use the paper okay so our next let me just give this a little stamp this you can only really see a little bit um is from it's this piece from pattern play but it just prevents it, the paper from being totally solid and that's mint macaron color And the other stamping I need to do is the Thanks a Bunch. And that came from Celebrate Sunflowers. And that's an occasion craze. And I'm going to kind of um, right align it. Because I'm going to have the ribbon going right there. All right, so that gave this a few seconds to dry. So I'm going to use my paper snips. And for this one, I don't even have to trim off any, oh, barely, just a hair. But on my template here, you know, you, you trim off all the sides there. So I just turn it so you can see it on the inside. It's a little easier. And then don't forget that flap. And there's a little glue on there. Okay, so it cleans it up nicely. And then we are going to really just assemble. So I'm going to put that about there. And then my words. I don't want it trite to the edge. I kind of like how there's a little bit of space. All right, so let me show you how I did my um, ribbon. And again, not all of them, none of them actually had ribbon on them, but this one did. So I used a glue dot. Uh -oh. There we go. And I'm going to put the glue dot kind of where I want the ribbon to go. But first, I'm going to cut, I don't know, about that much. So eight inches or so of the linen thread. And I'm going to put the linen thread right there. And then I'm going to take my ribbon. And this is, um, it feels like sweet. It's early espresso. It's beautiful. Um, it's in the annual catalog, and I'm going to just kind of make sure it's straight on the inside. And I'm going to 
I'll play with it a little bit placement but I'm gonna stick that on there I'm gonna bring this down and then I'm gonna tie a double knot and if that like loosens up that's okay because I can pull it back down and then I'm gonna tie a knot again just to make sure it stays and then I'll tie my bow a little bit different way of doing the ribbon and that way you can kind of see you know if you wanted to have them peek out a little bit you have the little ends there so that's the card I actually I really like to see ribbon on the inside so that's why I wrapped it all the way around um, so there you go so um, it uses the I I should put it out here the Taylor tag punch but you can use really oops you can use lots of things. So I, I brought over um, other punches, even circles and squares, but this is from the Tasteful Labels. And so, um, I mean, these would look, it's a little bigger, but that would look nice. You know, these shapes in different patterns, I should do some and post them. Um, so you have lots of, lots of ways of doing it. I just happen to use a tailor tag, but you can use really anything, even just regular, you know, cuts from your uh, trimmer instead of a punch. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this card. I'm Christine Josty of Mail Something Pretty. Thanks so much for watching. Please um, subscribe to the YouTube, check that bell so you get notified when I post videos, and hop over to my blog to sign up for my mailing list. Have a great day. Bye-bye.